Hello everyone! You might have seen the auto day skipper video I made a few days ago. Not a lot of people are showing they want to do this, which I understand because you're gonna have to spend money on this. But either way, today I'm going to show you how all these works. Before I want to give a shout out to Shiny Quagsire, who made the program that I'm based up on. He's the one that made the Splatoon printer, which if you play that game, that's how people make all those amazing art. Everything required is in the description below. I highly recommend you to test everything first without buying the hardware to make sure they all compile. Then you should be safe to buy them. First of all, let's talk about the hardware. There are a few types of board that you can use. The Tinsy 2.0 or the Arduino Uno R3. Arduino Micro or Neonado should work as well, but the program process might be slightly different. I can't test those two boards, so I recommend the first two. There are a lot of knockoff Uno available in the market. In my case, I'm using the Aligu Uno R3, which works exactly the same except it costs only $11. Do keep in mind that the Uno R3 only has 16KB flash memory, aka the program memory. If you're going to modify my program to do other things, you will have to keep an eye on the output file size. The Tinsy 2.0 and Arduino Macro will have 32KB flash memory. You can also get the Tinsy 2.0 Plus Plus, which has 128KB flash memory, but it will cost you $30. For my knockoff Uno, there's only 12KB flash memory. I've seen other videos on programming Uno, and it only has 12KB memory as well, so you'll probably get memory slightly less than the spec, so just be careful on that. If you buy the Arduino, it should come with the USB cable. And if you buy the Tinsy, make sure you get the mini USB, not the micro USB that uses to charge your phone. That will not work. There are two optional hardware you can get, which if you are buying the Arduino, you can get the wire jumper. You can also use a female to female wire or a female to male wire. This is used for flashing the board so you can reprogram the microchip, but you can also use any straight conductive metal if you're able to connect the two pins required. I bought the starter kit, so I have plenty of other useless stuff like LED lights but and plenty of wires, so this is up to you. The other hardware you can get is a USB-C to USB 3.0 adapter. I'm using this Aki which costs $7 and they come in packs of two. You don't have to buy the same one. Any C to 3.0 adapter will do the same thing. You probably need this if you have the switch light because you don't have the dock to access the USB 3.0. Otherwise, you don't have to buy this. Now let's talk about the software. I'm using Windows, so if you're using Mac or Linux, I'll have a link in the description below and it will have the instructions on how to compile the code and program it on the board. For Windows, there are a few things you have to install. First, you will need the WinAVR, this is a compiler for C source codes. When you're installing it, make sure you check the box Add Directories to Path so we can access it with CMD. For Arduino boards, you will need to install a program called Flip. And for Tinsy, you will need to download the Tinsy loader. These two programs I use to program the board. Next, download my Dayskipper program and extract it to the desktop. There are a chance that the program will not compile if the directory has spaces, so try to avoid that. Go to the folder, and you should see the Dayskipper UK or the Dayskipper US.c files. The reason why there are two is because the US date arrangement is different. It does run slightly faster because skipping days requires two less button presses. If you want to use the US date, you will have to change the Nintendo Switch region to America. Open the .c file you want with the notepad or notepad++, which I prefer. On top, you will see four variables you will need to change. Date, month, year has to match the dates you first start the day skip. And the dates to skip is the number to advance, which should be three days before your shiny if you want to shiny swap your Pokemon. There's a link as well for you to check what date it is supposed to stop. If the end date exceeds December 31st, 2016, or if your den is over 22,280 skips, you have to chop your day skipping into segments. 
After you enter the battle, save and open the make file. You will have to change the MCU type based on what board you're using. For Uno, you need to type 80 Mega 16U2. And on the target line, change the name to Dayskiver US or Dayskiver UK, and then save the file. Then open CMD, type CMD on the Windows search bar. Sometimes you will need to run it as administrator to get all the functionality work properly. Open the auto controller folder and copy the directory. Go back to CMD, type CD space, and then right click on the window, you should see the directory being pasted on the window. Then press enter. Now the CMD is in the program directory. Type make and then press enter and it will compile the program. If everything goes right, it should look something like this and it will generate a hex file. Now that you have the .hex file, you can load it into your board. For Tinsy, it's very easy. Plug in your Tinsy to your computer and press the button on the board to enter program mode. Press the button on the top left to open a hex file, then click the program button and then you are done. For Arduino, you need to flash your board to DFU mode before you can program it. Um, this is where the jump wire comes in. Plug your board to the computer. Next to the USB port, there is a 2x3 pins arrangement. On the top left is the reset pin and the bottom left is the ground pin. You need to connect them together. If you have the female to male cable, you can also use the ground slot on the top row. When you connected them, disconnect it. You should be able to hear the computer disconnect the device and then connect again. The first time you do this, you have to go to the device manager. You will see there's an unknown device under other devices. Right click on it and update driver software. Press browse my computer for driver software. Now browse program file x84, add mail, flip and select the USB folder and install the driver. Now you should be able to see the device register as 80 mega 16 u2 or 80 mega 32 u4. Next open the flip program, go to device, select and choose the correct device. Then press the second icon, choose USB, press open and it should load the device. Now click file, load hex file and select the hex file. Because I have 12 kilobyte flash memory, the range cannot exceed FFF. Anything larger than that will not work. Now press the run button that your board should be ready to go. Keep in mind that for Arduino, every time you want to reprogram it, after you plug in the board to the PC, you will need to flash it before you connect it with Flip. Otherwise, the device will only be recognized as a Pokken controller. And you will need to reset the firmware if you want to use it as a normal Arduino again. Instruction will be in the description. So now let's go to the game itself. Before starting, you should make sure the system date matches what you set in the program. You will also need to make sure the time is not within the daylight saving time, meaning 1am to 2am in the UK or 2am to 3am in the US. Otherwise, you will get an invalid date warning on those dates and it will break the program. Now have the versus glitch ready to go. A quick recap, you need to go to versus. Battle Stadium, if you enter a casual battle, right after the game caught screen, turn on airplay mode and wait until disconnected from the server. Then turn off airplay mode. You can also take the switch out from the dock and put it back in again. If you're doing rank battle, you can either forfeit the match or complete the match. Then the versus glitch will be active. So I have a seed with 289 skips to get a shiny. Minus 3 days, that means I have to skip 286 days, which will bring me to October 30th, 2020. Before that, I want to make sure I have the versus glitch active, so I skip one day forward. And I can also check the dates while I was doing that. So my date is now January 19th, 2020, and now I have to skip 285 days. Leave the wild area and go to a Pokemon Center because day skipping in WoW area too much will crash your game due to too many weather changes. Now go to system settings like you would for normal day skip, put the cursor on date and time, then plug in the Tinsy or the Arduino board to the dock or the switch itself. It will first make sure the cursor is all the way on the right side on the OK button, 
and then it will start auto day skipping. The program skips about 2300 days per hour, so you can estimate how long it will take based on the number of days you will be skipping. This is slightly slower than the touchscreen method, but you don't have to do this for hours anymore. And touchscreen method has a chance that if you do it too fast, the game won't register the some day skip, but this program does not have any of those risks at all. You can also see why the US date arrangement is better because the date is the second from left to right, while UK date is all the way on the left. Since most of the time it will be doing day skip anyway, compared to month or year skip, US will be slightly faster if you are skipping a lot of dates. So as you can see, my Arduino is connected to the dock right here. And it's doing all the day skip for me. I'm not doing anything. This is a, my, my Joy-Con is right here. And it's skipping the dates for me. When the program finishes, it will stop. Unfortunately, it won't give you any warnings to alert you it is over, so you have to check it manually yourself. Go back to the den, collect watts, and save the game. I had confidence, so I just saved the game without checking my frame. So now I just manually skip three days forward. Enter the den. Booyah! Here's your shiny Pokemon. Now all you have to do is to do the three day skip method to swap the Pokemon to whatever you want. And you're all done! You might think this is quite similar to the Switch Up Game Enhancer, but with this template and this programmable board, if you have some programming skills, you can pretty much program any other auto program to whatever you want without being limited by what the enhancer provided to you. I will soon make programs like Auto Lotto, Auto Shiny Fossil Hunting, Auto Digging Bros, maybe even Egg Hatching, but that requires a lot more testing than this. And of course I also have the handicap of having only 12 kilobytes flash memory. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a like if you find it helpful. Leave comments below if you have any questions and I will try my best to answer them. I will definitely not going to ask you guys to donate to me to make other auto programs because you already have to spend money to buy the board anyway. If you are watching this video, you are already helping me. Subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see if I have any auto program updates or my other Pokemon content. Peace out.